My name is uh, Mr. Arya Rajabi Koko, and I'm the principal of uh, Munef's College. My name is Afumi Layo, Sheifumi Williams. The school was founded in 2014. Uh, we started with just a student, uh, Steph, Stephanie. And uh, since then, the school has grown by leaps and bounds to what it is today. Um, we are a school of about uh, 200 population, offering science, commercial, and uh, arts subjects. We have a, a capable set of teachers. who are well placed to take care of the children. The children have been doing very well in the standard examinations. In fact, many of our, many of our students have, gone admi have got admission to the universities. Like Unilag, University of Illyrian, University of Benin, even some of them have traveled abroad. And we are so proud of it. We have continued to work to make sure this standard is maintained. Uh, Winnet College uh, was founded on hard work, integrity, and honesty. Uh, so far, the school has produced the school has produced students that are reliable. They are in different institutions and they are doing well over the time. Uh, the school as its prospects instilling honesty into committed uh, what's it called commitment into the student even as they focus on their education aside that the school are looking at uh, building up a uh, student we can look at in the future and we could, oh these are our students and they are making the school proud as well as the nation at large Well, you can see that the moral decadence in society is from the parents. The parents have no time for the children. The Bible says, spare the cane and spoil the child. The parents are no more having time for the children. And that is why you have the moral decadence in society. The schools have been doing their best, but the players are not doing their own part. They are not playing their own part. That is the problem. Ah, the moral decadence. I would say the environment. I think the environment plays uh, one negatively. Let me use it that word. I don't want to say play a vital role. Negative roles in the life of the environment. So the mindsets of people, the people that consider the environment at large. From the landowners, their mentality, the upbringing, parental ignorance, and all. So, and this is a what a, a teenage age between 9 14, where it seems to be very hard when children have been molded in a path. Now, teachers are trying to instill some other values. You find it hard to restructure their mindset, taking them out of where they are coming from and trying to tell them this is how life is, this is how education system pattern should be. So I think the environment is a is it plays a great deal, pulling children, students, teenagers. Well, that's just a key thing. Well, the society, in fact, the society itself is so corrupt. You can you see what is going on in society. Our senators, our politicians, they are who are supposed to be role models. They are not playing that role. So we have a long way to go. In fact, I don't know how the society can I don't know how the society can play that role now because people we are supposed to look up to, they are very, very corrupt. And that's the dilemma we are in. Ah, oh, to the parents. One thing I'll say, I'm very factual. What you don't have, you can't give. Probably if they could be re-educated. If they could be educated more. 
Prosperity goes a long way. It's not just about education anyway. Morally. Morality, we are finding it hard. I'm, I'm not, I can't talk about other areas, but in this part of ecology, moral decadence, it's very, it's alarming. Then to the community, like I said, we are in the remote part of ecology, and the landowner's mentality, what can we do? Probably the government should come in, <laughs> or the education sector can come in and be of help. It all starts from the mind. What is in the mind of the parent, the community? Even if teacher has this value, we believe this is what education should look like. This is what morals should be. We have little, or our little role will not pull up at the end of the day. Probably the parents should do more to impart discipline to the children. The parents should create more time for the children. And I'm sure if they do that, the children will be better behave and it will be good for the society. I think the failure of sick take back to the uh, let me the parents. Fine, the children teachers take vit uh, the plays a vital role when it comes to parenting now. <laughs> Advice uh, let me say after the, the own parenting, now they come to school, they spend like eight to nine hours. But I'll still take it. The 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 um. I said it boil back to the parents. Are they checking? Are they monitoring? If we can work arm in hand, after we teachers school are done with what they need to do, are the parents following up on it? The non talency when it comes to education, not taking education serious, believing education is a scam. Believing how will I spend so much time reading and reading is tiring. Uh, I need to be social. I need to watch what's going on. I need to follow the trend, the teenage pair groups and all. Are parents actually following up on their words at all? The guide, are they doing their best at it? Some parents will go, don't worry, don't worry. Once it's the exam period, we can go through this way, we can go through that way. I know. The teacher might say this, my but it's all the large rope. It's on the parents. What makes the school stand out? Uh, I would say for a uh, for a factory to work well, it has a good engine working behind it. I would say this teacher pays a lot. They are paying quite a lot of prices. They put in their all, their soul, their spirit into the life of these students. We all want to see what we are doing and we could be proud of. Not just about coming to the school or coming to class and at the end of the day, we are proud of what is coming out of Winnet College. So I will say for that, the teacher behind the college, the engine behind the building, I would say that makes the school a unique one. The, the relationship with parents is quite cordial. And uh, my advice is that they should instill discipline in the children at home. They should create time for the children. In fact, when I was, when my children were still young, I used to sit down with them to, to teach them, personally. But if they don't have time for them, they should have plenty of chance to teach the children. Because the children need home work. The children need to be supervised at home by their parents. Since if their parents don't have time, let them find some help outside. So that the children can be engaged before they come back from work. Well, the, we are supposed to be role models for the children. But what is going on, most of the parents, they have no visible means of livelihood because of joblessness. And the children see this. They do nefarious jobs to make ends meet. And the children are taking after them. I don't want to mention the kind of jobs that they are doing, some of them. But the jobs, they are not just what you are talking about in the open.
Therefore, government should create jobs for the people. If there are jobs that parents can do, then some of these uh, some of these uh, uh, things will be avoided. The economy is also contributing because when you work so hard that the money is not enough, you are going to spend more time chasing this money to make sure you cater for the needs of the children. I think that is that is uh, partially responsible for what is going on because the parents are just struggling to make ends meet. They have no, no time to enforce discipline in the students, in the children. So the economy is also contributing. But finally, that's why the government should come in. By making sure that the taxes are reduced, taxes of parents, reduce the price, price of food stuff so that parents can, the prices can be affordable. And parents, parents do not have to spend all their time struggling for money to make ends meet. We are trying not to send children home in this my school. We normally tell them to stay at the gate. At the gate. We don't really send them home per se. But if a school must send a child home, I think it's better they, they send a teacher to follow that child home because of what is going on in society. If it is habitual, but I think in the first instance, the child should be warned. The coming. There are rules and regulations. The child should be warned that the coming is bad. But if the child does not take the correction, then the child may be sent home, but somebody should accompany the child home. 